Hi everyone, welcome back to the TensorFlow tutorial series. This time, or last time, we already talked about the basic usage of TensorFlow, how to build a network structure first, and then to train this structure with the data. So this time, we're going to continue to talk about some uh, a, a very important part in that structure we call it session. So the session is actually a pointer like we described last tutorial, a pointer to point to the part that in your big picture or in that big structures. Only run that part of the structure uh, once. So today we're going to show you two basic ways to uh, use the session. So going to show that import uh, tensorflow as tf then uh, we're going to calculate two metrics and use the math multiplication to calculate the metric so matrix one equals to tf dot constant we'll use the constant value of that matrix so it's uh, uh, two dimensional matrix for one row and two columns. So that is the matrix. If you know the NumPy, you know what is the shape of this matrix. Um, two columns, one row for matrix one. I just put the one over here. And we just copy this line to, to define the matrix two. Uh, we want to calculate matrix 2 as uh, uh, define the matrix 2 as uh, two rows and one column. So, uh, for example, 2 and 2. If I show like this way, you, you see much clearer. So, if we use the matrix multiplication operation we just basically to calculate matrix 1 times matrix 2 means that 3 times 2 plus another 3 times another 2 means maybe the result should be 12 right so the product for this matrix multiplication matrix multiplication is to you calculate the matrix one times matrix matrix two, right? If you use oh matrix two, if you use the numpy, you will know that it's similar to numpy dot this operation dot m one m two, just similar to that. Um, so the method one to use uh, method one to use the uh, session is like this way like before session we define the session as tf dot session and result equals to session dot round yeah round that point or that part because what at this tutorial we don't have any variable defined it so we don't have to run the uh, initial all variables operation so we just directly to run this op to run this product so run this product all right this is the first one and print the result that's from the session dot run and session dot close uh, in my experience, if I don't write down the session to close, it's okay, but if you write it down, then it's more formal. <laughs> so let's run it out. This is from last tutorial. Oh, what's wrong? TensorFlow constant. Oh, we don't have S at the end, so just run it again. Yeah. The uh, outputs of these two matrix multiplication is 12, right? As I said before, it's 12. So this is method one. We just count this out. And the method two, method two, is basically use the Python with, with blah blah and run the other 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 lines of code in this with. So with t 
tf.session basically you just open this session as and store the session in the variable of session the short session uh, in this with we're going to calculate the result to result result to equals to session dot run product and print result two. That's all. We don't have to close this session because once we uh, run this race, once we finish that, so after this race, the session has been closed. So you can write down anything that you want after that. So let me run this code. Yeah, 20 again. So this is all for today. And next time we'll talk about the variables in TensorFlow. So hope you will like my video and please subscribe for more updates for TensorFlow. Thank you, bye.